pop star Taylor Swift will release her 10th studio album tomorrow, October 21, titled Midnights. The blank spaced songstress has been kept busy over the past two years thanks to re recording her first six albums and the release of her lockdown projects Folklore and Evermore, but now she is back once again with 13 new songs for her loyal fan base. The singer announced the new album at the 2022 MTV Video Music Awards in August, 13 years on from the infamous Kanye West incident. Taylor, who is known for her Easter egg surprises, confirmed the tracklist for Midnight's via a fun social media game called Midnight's Mayhem With Me MMWM. But what is the full tracklist for Midnight's and what are the songs about? Here's everything you need to know, Lavender Haze Lavender Haze is the first song on the Midnight's album. The title was confirmed by the singer during the ninth episode of MMWM and following the announcement, Taylor posted a short video on Instagram explaining where she got the idea for this song and what it is about. In the video, she said she found inspiration for the song from TV series Mad Men and her relationship with long-term partner Joe Alwyn. She said, I happened upon the phrase Lavender Haze when I was watching Mad Men and I looked it up because I thought it sounded cool, and it turns out that it was a common phrase that was used in the 50s where they would just describe being in love. Like, if you were in the Lavender Haze, that meant you were in that all-encompassing love glow, and I thought that was really beautiful. She went on to reveal that the song reflects on her relationship with conversations with Friends actor Joe, who she has been dating for the last six years. The singer added, I guess theoretically, when you're in the lavender haze, you'll do anything to stay there and not let people bring you down off of that cloud. I think a lot of people have to deal with this now, not just public figures, because we live in the era of social media. If the world finds out that you're in love with somebody, they're going to weigh in on it. We've had to dodge weird rumors, tabloid stuff, and we just ignore it. This song is sort of about the act of ignoring that stuff to protect the real stuff. The actor has also played a role in the songwriting process behind some of Taylor's songs and he has co-writing credits on both Folklore and Evemore under the pseudonym William Bowery. Maroon Maroon is the second album on Taylor's Midnight's album, which was announced in the fifth episode of MMWM. The song has been written by both Taylor and her celeb pal Jack Antonoff who features on 11 songs on the Midnight's album. Jack has joined the Cardigan singer on numerous songs throughout her 16-year career and has songwriting credits on the likes of Lover, Cruel Summer, and Look What You Made Me Do. Anti-Hero Anti-Hero is the third song on Midnight's and was announced during the sixth episode of MMWM. Following the announcement, Taylor took to Instagram to call this song one of my favorite songs I've ever written. She added, I really don't think I've delved this far into my insecurities in this detail before. You know I struggle a lot with the idea that my life has become unmanageably sized, and not to sound too dark, I just struggle with the idea of not feeling like a person. The 32-year-old then went on to say that Antihero is a guided tour of all the things she dislikes about herself. She said, We all hate things about ourselves and it's all of those aspects of the things we dislike and like about ourselves that we have to come to terms with if we're going to be this person. Yeah, I like Antihero a lot because I think it's really honest. It has also been confirmed that Anti Hero will be the lead single of Midnight's, with a music video set to drop on October 21st. 
Snow on the Beach Snow on the Beach is the fourth song on the album and was announced in the 13th episode of MMWM. During the announcement, Taylor confirmed that the song was a collaboration with none other than video game singer Lana Del Rey. The Shake It Off singer said in the episode, Snow on the Beach featuring Lana Del Rey is track 4 on Midnights and I cannot get through that sentence without grinning because I am such a massive fan of Lana Del Rey. When speaking about the inspiration behind the song, Taylor said it's about falling in love with someone at the same time as they're falling in love with you, in this sort of cataclysmic, faded moment where you realize someone feels exactly the same way that you feel at the same moment, she added, you're kind of looking around going like, wait, is this real? Is this a dream? Is this for real? Is this happening? Is it really happening? Kind of like it would be if you were to see snow falling on a beach. You're on your own, kid you're on your own kid is the fifth song on Midnights and was announced during the 10th episode of MMWM. The 3 minute and 14 seconds song has been written by both Taylor and Bleacher's singer Jack. Midnight Rain Midnight Rain is the sixth song on Midnights and was announced during episode 4 of MMWM. This song has also been written by Taylor and Jack, and is 2 minutes and 54 seconds long. Question. Question. Is the seventh song on Midnight's and was announced during episode 3 of MMWM. The 3 minutes and 30 seconds song is another hit by Taylor and Jack. Vigilante Shit Vigilante Shit is the 8th song on the album and was announced during episode 2 of MMWM. This is Taylor's first song with a swear word in the title and is the only song on the album that is solely written by the All Too Well star. Bejeweled Bejeweled is the 9th song on Midnight's and the title was announced during the 7th episode of MMWM. This is another song that has been written by Taylor and Jack. Labyrinth Labyrinth is the 10th song on Midnight's and was announced during the 11th episode of MMWM. During the announcement, Taylor told fans that this song would be worth the wait. It has also been written alongside record producer Jack. Karma Karma is the 11th song on Midnight's and the title was announced during the 8th episode of MMWM. This title announcement noticeably caused a stir with Swifties as Taylor cackled while confirming the 11th track. Fans questioned whether the laughter was on purpose as a long-time theory suggested that Taylor Swift's 10th album was supposed to be titled Karma. The theory dates back to 2016 and there has been speculation that the song could be about Taylor's feud with Kanye West and Kim Kardashian. One fan said on Twitter, Karma is definitely about Kanye because it's definitely not a coincidence that it's track 11. When Innocent, her song where she initially forgave Kanye for the 2009 VMA incident, is track 11 too. The feud between the celebs began after Kanye humiliated Taylor on stage at the VMAs in 2009 by interrupting her acceptance speech for Best Female Video. The drama seemingly died down between Taylor and Kanye until the rapper released his song Famous. In the lyrics for the song, Kanye raps, I feel like me and Taylor might still have sex. Why? I made that BTCH famous. The feud then erupted once more after Kanye's ex-wife Kim leaked a voice recording of Taylor confirming the lyric after the singer claimed she wasn't aware of the term I made that BTCH famous. Taylor went on to disappear from the limelight following the feud, later releasing album Reputation to tell her version of events in songs Look What You Made Me Do and This Is Why We Can't Have Nice Things.
The full phone conversation between the singer and Kanye was later leaked online to reveal the extent of the conversation. Sweet Nothing Sweet Nothing is the 12th track on Midnight's and was announced during the 12th episode of MMWM. The song has been penned by Taylor and William Bowery, aka her boyfriend Joe. Mastermind Mastermind is the 13th and final song on Taylor's Midnight's album. The title was revealed during the first episode of MMWM and is the last of the collaborations between the singer and Jack on Midnight's. Read next.